process of fermentation creates flavors and aromas that you cannot get through other processes. As the microbes digest the food, they cleave the existing fats and proteins and carbohydrates apart into smaller molecules. And since smaller molecules are more volatile, they're more likely to reach your olfactory system and get sensed. Other molecules, like the newly formed glutamates, become newly accessible to your taste buds. And as fermentation progresses, all of these new molecules can be broken down further or interact with each other, leading to more diverse, nuanced, and complex flavors. And as the conditions in the fermenting food change, like as the pH changes, the microbial community shifts, creating more new products and more complexity. The exact flavors you get will depend on the particular food you're fermenting and the particular microbes that are doing it. But put simply, fermentation equals flavor. So it is no wonder that a ton of condiments, the stuff we add to our food to simply make it more delicious, are products of fermentation. And then there's ketchup, mustard, and a lot of others, which although they aren't products of fermentation, they rely heavily on vinegar, which is a fermented product, to supply their punch of flavor.